Good evening. My name is Daniel, and today I'm going to present you Nutriti, the visualization tool that we have developed for this assignment. Now, this visualization tool is based and focused on the nutrition habits worldwide and the relation of these habits with the health of the population. Now, how do we use this visualization tool effectively? You can move your cursor around and see the names of the different countries highlighted. And this coloring pattern that you're seeing is currently based on the alcohol consumption of each country. So from less gradient to max gradient, you can see the lowest consuming countries and the highest consuming countries. This coloring is quite useful, for instance, for comparing different countries or even seeing the evolution in each country over time. We can change these filters on the top left corner. Let's say, let's see the evolution of alcohol consumption until 2009. And we can see that clearly there is an increase in the alcohol consumption. We can also do other stuff like see the body mass index over time of each country. For example, you can see that the body mass index is uh, under average in the South African countries and South Asian. Also, we can go through the life expectancy of males or females. But if you want to get um, some more specific information, we can actually click on one of them. So I'm going to go through and just click on Russia. And now we get a more uh, specific information. On the left side, you can see that there is a word cloud. Now, this word cloud represents the food with highest consumption in this country. For instance, for Russia in 2009, we can see that the most overused uh, food is milk. We can go around and check other countries, like for example, Spain. And in here we can see, yeah, the same thing, milk, no bother. In the center, you can see uh, a representation of the alcohol consumption. We use this beer shaped, I think it looks really cool. On the bottom, you have the average historic, which is 44 kilograms per capita and per year. And the maximum historical, which was achieved by Uganda in 1971 and was 258 kilograms per capita per year. Now we can go back to 1971, for example, for instance, and wait, sorry, alcohol consumption. And in here we can see that the color of Uganda is quite shiny. So if we click on top of it, we can clearly see that this was the maximum achieved historically. Now going back to the information in each country, uh, on the right side, we have this representation of the body mass index, which uh, describes the population in four different frames, uh, underweight, normal weight, overweight, and obese. Finally, on the bottom right, we have two numbers, which represent the life expectancy for females and males in Spain. And well, uh, from this kind of information, you can correlate it to other features. For instance, you can correlate the life expectancy with the alcohol consumption or the body mass index. You can also correlate the body mass index with the food that is consumed at most in each country. Well, uh, to finish up, I can show you some uh, data exploration, which can be achieved with this tool. Now, let's see about a uh, life expectancy for males, for instance. And let's go back in time until the beginning, 1961. Now, if you check China over here, you can see that the life expectancy is over 45 years for females and 42 for males. And if you have seen history, you know that the uh, the healthcare and in general uh, medicine facilities in China were pretty bad in the, during these years. So we can go forth in time and just check China how it evolves. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So we can actually see like a progress over time in the life expectancy. And here you can see that it transversed to 63 years for males and 64 for females. Uh, as conclusion, this visualization tool is quite useful to compare different countries. Uh, the word cloud is a really easy way to see information in a really short period of time along with the other components. Like for instance, you can just search on, the, on this word cloud and see that the starchy roots are the most consumed uh, food in Cameroon during the year 2004. So this can be also useful for like, I don't know, 
uh, suppliers to know which countries they can approach to sell their products. So that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching.